Joanne Hayes. Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Kia ora. <laughs> my, my question is to the Minister of Health. What investment will the government make in Budget 2014 to assist children with profound hearing loss? Honourable Tony Ryle. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. Last week, uh, the government announced that Budget 2014 will include an extra $6.3 million to provide two funded cochlear implants for children with profound hearing loss. The current 100% subsidy is for only one implant. To, uh, uh, $2.1 million has been set aside to provide a funded second implant to children under six who have already received a single implant through the cochlear program and were unable to get a second. Uh, these implants are a game changer for young children and will help give them a great start in life. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Joanne Hayes. To the Minister, what reports has the Minister received about this new funding? Honourable Tony Ross. Well, Mr Speaker, I was very pleased to hear a report from the mother of a five-year-old girl who was born deaf that when she got her cochlear implant, she, quote, brightened up, became more confident, curious and playful. Her world is much more open now. She does not go... She does get tired at school having to listen so hard and to concentrate with just one hearing ear. That is why we are so excited, said the mother, about now being able to have another implant so it will be easier for her to hear and learn." Unquote. This is a great investment by the John Key government in the future of young New Zealanders. Question number eight, Chris Hipkins. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is...